Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome to some late game gameplay from the now unavailable demo of Manor Lords. That's the medieval real-time strategy, survival, and city building game that had its very short demo earlier this month. But as you guys can tell, this second episode from the demo is way late. I ended up getting pretty sick and my voice has just now mostly recovered. So I'm finally going to be uploading this uh, gameplay from a much more developed settlement. Because the demo had no save, I had to play in one giant session. I think I played for like seven hours straight for this recording. So bear with me if the recording does sound a little bit sleepy at times once we dive in. But we're going to be looking at some cool late game stuff here in this video. That's going to include building the Bailey. That's the uh, kind of law enforcement and government infrastructure uh, fortifications part of the village, which I'm going to put up here on this hill overlooking my village because it looks awesome. And we're basically going to look at everything this game has to offer outside of the combat, which was not available in the demo. Not the most secure wall ever, but look at that view. That is awesome. I did that. <laughs> Can I walk through? Look at that. Oh, and I'm stuck on the peasant. Let me out. <laughs> okay. What else we have going on down here? Uh, food is looking really, really good. Thanks to our bakers. I keep these woodcutters at full tills. Yeah. Get a couple loggers in there too. Actually feeling confident enough to build more houses? What is this? Put a plot there. My manor house is going to be higher than the church. Is that sacrilegious? <laughs> For those of you that remember the first episode, first part there. Uh, of this settlement. I was obsessing over this little hill to put the church on. Like, oh, it's it's uh, such a great view. Now my manor is going above it. There's somebody praying piously. That's a really great detail. Look at that. This harvest looks okay. These two fields down here. Harvest up here looks amazing. Got six full-time farmers. I'll give them two more given the amount of fields that we have. We've got three months of supplies. I haven't seen that number since the start of the game here. Awesome. Wait, are they not harvesting that one until next year? Okay, there they go. They just had to get out there to do the harvest. Let's drop in on our good folk here. <laughs> that is just crazy, crazy detailed. One thousand grain and lots of meat and bread stockpiled. Awesome. Thankfully, the miller is still working, so he should be good to go. As it leaves the threshing floor, he'll be ready for his part of the process. Okay, we have some logs again. Let's get some storehouses built.
And then some nice house plots down through here. Oh, and that was all of our logs, but we'll make our storage building as priority one. And then soon we can build our manor house on our bailey. Ah, uh, look at that view. Hmm. Also, I'm in a lot of debt, it looks like. Uh, King's Favor is negative four. We have not been paying our taxes. But we should be able to do so once the bailey is uh, constructed. We can build our tax collection structures. Oh yeah, we built a money pit and then did nothing with it yet. Need some more houses once those are ready to go. Storehouse is ready to go, all right. All these lazy loggers. Be working on my storage buildings instead. Wow, this is just beautiful to watch in action. All the roads and animations just crisscrossing. It looks so, so natural. And that is a crop yield right there. Not bad at all. Let's get one on the malt house, one on the brewery. How's our food? Oh, awesome. Probably back one of those bakers down. Because the pantries are filling up. Up there. Hunting looks good. Hunting looks good. These freaking pelts <laughs> take up so much space. We got so much surplus goods. I wonder if I can just get rid of it with the trading post. Because it's gumming up the works here. Everything is waiting on everything else. Because of all the storage issues. That is becoming quite a town there, guys. Quite a town. What's the actual requirement for the manor house? Ten. Ten logs. Hey, we've got six months of supplies on hand. And growing. Who cares if we can't find room to store our logs? Well, I hope you guys don't mind learning along with me because some of you were probably screaming at your screens. Storage buildings have their own storage category for logs and all these are empty. I do need more storage for all the pelts and other garbage, but the hang up with my logging camps was actually I had a set work area that had been harvested completely so my guys were just goofing off i've now set them to unlimited work area and they're doing their own thing and logs are coming in and i'm hopefully just really going to make this objective to complete the manor house because my timer has been ticking down quite a bit need some more oxen for those logs The manor house is going to cost how much? 10? Okay, I think we'll be okay, but I'm glad I figured that out. Otherwise, demo probably would have ended soon if that's a pass-fail objective. <laughs> it is June. Why are no crops being planted? Are they still on the threshing floor? Apparently. I'll set threshing priority to low there. Get him out in the fields again, hopefully. Maybe? Oh, I wasn't zoomed in far enough. Okay. Yeah, they're still harvesting from last year. Okay. Huh. I mean, that was a huge harvest for this size town, I think. So I think we'll be all right. 12 logs. Okay. Let's position this manor house. Oh, it has to go on the wall. Okay. 
Ooh, that scared me for a minute. I was like, what did I do wrong? Among so many other things. Let's go, people! Got some spare logs, so once I hit four logs, I'm going to build some more houses along the bottom of the cliff here. And then also work on my mining tech tree. I'm on like hour four of this demo, I think. And uh, can't save, so whatever I'm gonna play, I gotta play tonight. And here comes the rain. Still three logs. I really need some more oxen, I think. That's the other holdup, quite possibly, is our only oxen is dragging logs around down here. It has to shuffle back and forth. In fact, what if I... What if I pause this one entirely? I wonder if that would be more efficient, if the oxen would just pull logs from this one down here. It's possible. Plenty of meat and bread to go around. Still, are the bakers working away? They are. Um, let's make sure that my Bailey construction is high priority. And then I will go ahead and put some houses down too. Imagine having five months of supplies still. Wow. That just looks incredible. Like a natural settlement. Also, performance is amazing. I'm getting insane frame rates at 4K. Reminder, this is a demo of a early access game. Just wild. Do my logging strategy work? Oh yeah, there's 15 logs in here. Uh, quite a few tied up in construction, maybe. That's probably why I can't see them. I think the oxen is dragging them to the construction site. Yep, there he goes. I think I can build a livestock trading post. Oh, but I don't have any silver. I'm in a lot of debt, actually. There's no point yet. Our traditional trading post is probably the best thing for me. Trading post would be great. Over here, maybe? Right at the base of the hill, corner of the village, right before the main town market. I need some more stalls for handing out food and clothes, too, apparently. That's a storm. Okay. Bailey needs a lot more transported goods, and my timer is counting down. This is not good. It's getting jammed up in the roads here. I'm gonna actually get the other logging camp going. Maybe that'll be closer for them. Yeah, maybe they can transport some logs. 
from the closer location. Ooh, my timer is counting down very quickly. There's a lot more resources. I'm not going to make the timer. Oh no. Well, let's take one last fly around just in case. We'll walk into our village here. That's right, toil away, build my manor. Timer says 10. Lots of transporting still happening now. Oh yeah, that view never gets old. Yeah, that does take some timber, doesn't it? Man, how much does that weigh, I wonder. One developer, guys. One developer. Greg, you are my hero. Quest completed. Okay. Task failed successfully. Well, that was a lot of drama for nothing, I guess. That is going to take a long time to build. Pantry limit reached. Storage limit reached. Everything's all gummed up again. Storage full. Still no logs harvested. I can't build anything. build one more logging camp. I might have enough people for it. Oh yeah, I can't. Not enough resources to build it. Gotta wait for at least two more logs to build more logging camps. The irony is once again not lost on me. Manor house is coming together though. Got the roof on. Just in time for winter. Yeah, I'm pretty confident it's this oxen, our single oxen, that's holding things up. He's only dragging logs up for the manor house, and so he can't help harvest logs from the forest. And the only logs we have are all the way down here at the bottom of the hill. Poor ox is going to have a heart attack. Well, what else can I work on without wood? I mean, the farms are kind of self-sufficient now. Food is cranking out. Ovens are going. And there we have it. The manor house is complete. Let's zoom in here. Just connected from road network, but it's looking good. Heaven shine down and grow the land. Oh, and I clicked on a peasant down at the church. I don't see any road connection points, so I don't think it actually matters that uh, the house itself is not connected because the bailey is.
<laughs> Clipped under the cliffs there. That is an awesome view still. What else can we build in the Bailey? A tax collector. Cable's tax collection. Garrison tower. The very first thing we're going to do is a trading post and then a livestock trading post to try to get more oxen, though. I think we're behind on that. Trading's done using regional wealth. Okay. Let's um let's pause this logging camp. This one's a bit closer to the center of the settlement. Hopefully we can stop dragging those logs so far. Although it does still have four logs in storage. With games like this, it really is learning all about the bottlenecks, the things to watch for that can grind the whole game to a halt for a half hour at a time. Like, only having one oxen. Ox? Oxen? Is ox singular or is oxen singular too? Maybe I've just been playing too long. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. Got a lot of grain. Oh man. Pantry limit reached. Got some new houses coming in there finally. Outhouses back in the woods. I see it back there. Full hunting camp. It's full of meat, actually. Getting a solid amount of meat. That one's paused. Okay. Hey, a log finally. I'm remembering now that I never actually built that other granary down here. So I'll use those two logs on that. Come on, trading post. This better be a means to an end here. To get some silver. To get me more oxen. Okay, pantry's built. Gonna have more crops again this year. Storage really is becoming an issue. <laughs> Can I hide some of the mining stuff down in the woods maybe? I get to that part, that's still a ways away. Stuff like the bloomery. Constructs iron slabs and the smithy. Smithy's probably gonna go in town. I don't mind the sound of the smithy. Furnace might be kind of messy though. Trading post requires four logs. We're at three. Come on. Come on. Food's dropped a little bit from our peak. I wonder if we can use more farmers on the threshing floor. 
Yeah, we'll skip ahead here a little bit while we try and get out from underneath this log jam yet again. <laughs> we have a huge surplus of crops. I'm going to try to figure out the crop selling here through the trading post. I think, yeah, I set my target already just a second ago, trying it out to low. Here's what I did for wheat. That seems to be working. Export only. Lower the target stock. Flax. Export only. Lower the stock. Okay. That might get us some silver here. Yep, we have regional wealth. So now we can build our livestock trading post and hopefully get some livestock. Let's go ahead and get more things set up in the bailey too. Let's get our um, tax collector probably has to go up first. Whoa. Oh, that was a stutter. Where did the bailey go? There it is. Put him on the hill here. Ooh. Game's been running for so long. It is starting to struggle a little bit now, just like me. <laughs> Whew, this is a long play session. Food is ticking back up nicely now. Let's move that tannery somewhere not at the bottom of my hill. Wait, where is the move option? Huh, doesn't have it. Interesting. All right, Tannery is fine there, I guess. Didn't realize it was going to be at the bottom of my manor hill. A livestock trading post. Let's get some ox in here. Target. I want, I don't even know, five oxen. Do I even have silver though? I think I do. I have regional wealth. Still working out the money thing here. have a whole lot of grain export only got a whole lot of pelts so yeah I think this is gonna work out well start exporting some of these ridiculous amounts of stuff. This needs to be typeable, the clicking. Oh man, I can't handle it. This should get us some income and hopefully clear out some storage too. There we go. I like the defaults to 999. Need some more workers for that trading post, though. And some more workers there, too. Hey, give us a hand over here. Let's see, one last farmer. One less storage worker too, I think we'll be okay. 
Ooh. Need more woodcutters. Uh, that is very true. One last tavern worker. So hopefully we can get some more wood cutting. It is July, we've got time. But need to fix that now. There's one woodcutter at least. Regional wealth is going up. Public order is good. Tax collection is looking good. Have we bought any oxen yet? Oh, can't click on the livestock in that screen. Can't do anything at all, I don't think, until I get some workers. I'll have idle workers fill the trading posts uh, and the livestock market too. Logging is going slow again with all this construction up at the Bailey. Having to drag those logs up. <laughs> Careful, you're about to run out of timber. Yeah, don't say. It's been my life, this save game. Lack of save game, I guess. <laughs> this one super long play session as I'm starting to get near delirious here. All right, Miner, you can take a break. There we go. Someone's finally working. Trading post. I'll just fill my farmers back in there as they come in. Hey, six logs. I can build a couple more houses and get some more workers to help fill in some of these jobs. I love flipping the houses on different roads like that to give it a, a natural look. Get, to work, right? Get some more loggers down there. How's our oxen? We've got two oxen. Oh man, it is a new day, everyone. It is a new day. I just fist pumped at my desk. <laughs> The log jam is over. Gonna need some more woodcutters though. Let's see, what do we got? There they are, firewood. Have you harvest somewhere else, I think? Downhill here. We'll add a little storehouse down here too. Oh, not enough resources. It is November and we have fuel and plenty of food. Just 
Storehouse is looking good. Three oxen. Oh, here we go. Hey, and tax collection too. Basic tax collected per family on the first day of each month. Tiny bit of tax. Tithe. 10% is biblical. But uh, we'll do 5% because they're going to be really angry about that. Banalities. Collected whenever grain is milled to flour. What a strange tax. Well, we should be able to pay our king's taxes for the first time this year. We've got logs coming in. We can build some garrison towers here soon. Manor module. I think it has to be built in the bailey. I'm pretty sure that tower does. We still have so much grain. The food bottleneck is definitely gone, too. Alright, let's check out the Bailey Tower. Yep, requires that we do it up here. Ooh, here we go. Check this out. That path that I added by accident that clipped under the cliff, I can cover it with the tower. Let's go! Oh, only one garrison tower allowed. That'll look pretty cool right there. I think that's all the Bailey stuff for now. I'll add one gatehouse so I can make a cool road going down the hill. Whoa, whoa, frame rate lag there. A little bit of a hitching. Okay, we're good. <laughs> a path up through the woods. to the Bailey. Approval's okay for now. 57%. Gotta build some more houses now. Um, I need some more workers for the mines, quite literally. slow time down. The game is starting to struggle a bit more. After running for so, so long. I'm going to curse myself here, but I'll point out zero crashes. I have no idea how many videos this is going to be, but however many it made up, it was recorded in one gigantic play session, which is wild.
So that will get us more housing for the mines. Just gotta wait for it to get built now. We have a stone mine here. Not sure how to actually use that though. Let's move a hitching post up here. Oh, we can only have one. Okay. Let's go, people. Let's assign some people to that hitching post then. Didn't realize you could even do that. Is our smithy up to you? Nothing yet. Let's fast forward. They actually have less loggers now. And we could build a few more houses. don't want to take up all of our forested land here, so we'll stop there with the houses on that side of town. I'm trying to keep a careful eye on our bread and food situation as well. So we have some brew going, quite possibly. Yep, Tavern's got some homemade ale. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'm starting to run out of steam. Uh, you can tell by the fact that I just recorded for about uh, eight minutes without hitting record. So what we're doing here is I have my uh, mining pipeline up and running. I've got my bloomery here and then my smithy over next to the church. So we're getting some tools built finally. What else is going on? I upgraded our market here with lots of stalls that I had not yet assigned people let's get to. to work. So let's fix that. Let's get to work. That'll help distribute the food and materials across the settlement. Um, built a lot more houses. More going up down here. And over here, that's where I'm going to stop. Don't want to totally spoil the view from the manor. And uh, no military troops in the demo, so this guy's been stuck here next to the tower. Lorenz. So in my eyes, Lorenz, he's now the garrison for the settlement. Thanks, Lorenz. He's always watching. Yeah, he got stuck after that construction was complete. <laughs> what else has been going on? I can't believe I forgot to record. Oh man, it's been a long session. Ah, built this little picturesque village down here in the river valley with our woodcutter's tent, woodcutter's lodge, excuse me. A picturesque way walk into town what a view minus all the outhouses do these guys have storage down here I don't think they do can probably fix that Put a storage path over here, tucked away into the corner. Yeah, having all those oxen really does change the game. Population 182. New families moving in over here. 185 population. 
Let's see if I can hit 200 without tanking my food, and we'll call it there, guys. What a incredible, incredible demo. Put a few more on that steep hill. Still three months supply of food and fuel, not bad. Use one more Miller, possibly at this point. Probably less traders, though. Oh, yeah, we can do uh, chickens. And we can do a vegetable garden. And we can do goats. We've got so much money now. This is amazing. More chickens. Everybody's quite happy around here, it looks like. Get a vegetable garden for them. And, uh, I'll leave the goats for a bigger plot somewhere. Somebody with some space. Yeah, you guys can have some goats. You guys can have some chickens. Oh, there's a chicken coop. Nice. That'll add some variation to our food. We'll have some eggs soon. Do more vegetable garden there. Is there anything that I've forgotten to try? I think I've built just about everything here in the demo. Oh, you can do pastures and, uh, wow, sheep farms and... That's the main thing I missed. Um, let's check that out real quick. Sheep farm. Wow, I'm out of flat land. Uh, I'll do a sheep farm down in the valley here. Okay, now it does not have to be locked to the building. So we'll get a sheep farm going. That'll be cool. Yeah, we have a lot of green. Calm it down, Miller. Calm it down. Is good to go and we are at population 209 we'll buy some sheep and call it there guys match stop to target target is uh, I don't know 10 how much can the pasture hold I'll just do 10 match target Three lambs. Put two workers on that. 
Commodities. Candles. Something not in the demo, I think. Twenty-three, I believe. Carrying some firewood in. I just realized you can lock the camera to your peasants. That's cool. No sheep purchased yet, but it looks like I can upgrade a whole bunch of my town. Because they're all quite happy. Oh, they have yarn from sheep. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Going through one of my logs here. This is the high end district through here now, apparently. It'll take a while to complete the upgrades. We'll make that priority one. Here come the oxen with materials. Getting caught in the traffic jam. Pretty badly, actually, getting caught. <laughs> Lots more goods to come. I love the garden plots. And the chicken coops. That adds so much extra detail to the to the villages. Hey, look at that. That is quite the housing upgrade right there. Very, very cool. Everyone's ready to hand out clothing and everything else. Can I build multiple tax collectors? That would make no sense, right? Limit reached, okay. Gonna lower taxes down. Our fuel is kind of low. Gonna build another woodcutter lodge. Starting to hit the limits of this build area. Oh. And limits of my current collection of lumber. Poor oxen are having issues getting stuck everywhere in this chaos.
what was I waiting on? I've already forgotten. It's December. We've got plenty of food. Um, ah, yes. The fire uh, issue. Gotta build some more woodcutters. Gotta wait for the oxen to get back from all that construction. King is quite happy with me. If this was fully unlocked, I imagine I'd be claiming some new territories. How cool does that look? A little imprint of your village on the map. That's wild. Where is the woodcutter's logging camp? There it is. Where's the second one? There it is. Now our firewood's a little bit dire for January. Zero months of fuel available. Not great, not great. A whole lot of houses with wood burning stoves here. It was very foggy down in the valley. Are all these lodges full tilt? Okay, that's full tilt. That one's full tilt. I'd say we kind of uh, brought this settlement back from the brink, so. We've just about done it all and seen it all here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I stayed up super late because this uh, this is an incredible demo. If this is just the demo of the early access title, I cannot imagine what the full game is going to be like. This is just awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed taking a look at it with me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you uh, subscribe. If you haven't before, check out what's up next, and don't forget to like the video if you, well, liked it. It does help things out. Alright, see you guys.